Hey sourcers and recruiters out there, Tony Steeman here, research consultant with the Novo Group, and I'm back with part two of our video series on using LinkedIn X-ray search techniques to find great passive candidates. Now if you watched the video part one last week, you'll see that we talked about the basic structure of how to put together a LinkedIn X-ray search string, and this week we're going to be talking about Boolean language, which is, which is really the heart of how you construct your search string for LinkedIn X-ray in Google and Bing. And so we want to make sure that we brush up on our Boolean language skills and really have a good, well-rounded approach when we're going into starting one of these searches. Now, in part three next week, just as a little preview, we'll be talking about all sorts of keyword strategies to help you really use the LinkedIn tool combined with X-ray search to get the best results. But for now, let's go ahead and dive into Boolean language in part two. Now the first thing we want to do is just brush up a little bit on a boole our Boolean language. Uh, most of us are familiar with the and, or, and not operators in Boolean. And so I'm going to talk about how they worked and how they work a little bit in LinkedIn X-ray search to make sure we're utilizing the tool the best. So first of all, we're going to talk about the and operator. So the and operator functions to combine two words. So for example, if we want to do the words mechanical and engineer in a search, we would uh, type mechanical and engineer. But in Bing and Google, when we're doing an X-ray search, the word and is assumed by the spacebar. So the old kind of way of traditional research and sourcing would be to type the words mechanical and engineer. But in the new method, all we have to do is type in mechanical space engineer. And that's really beneficial, especially in Google when there's a search term limit of 32 words. And so this new method will automatically assume we're searching for mechanical and engineer and both those keywords will return in our results. Now moving on to the OR operator, uh, as I mentioned, Google limits the search terms to 32 words, so you really want to be able to maximize your search when using Boolean language. So instead of typing the word OR, you want to use the bar to save on keywords. So the bar command actually works to um, take the place of OR, and that's usually found right above the enter key on any standard keyboard. Now the old method would be to type mechanical OR engineering. The new method in Google is to just simply type mechanical bar engineer, and our search, back, our search strings results will bring back any um, word with mechanical OR engineer. And so the key also to this is to make sure that you use no spaces, so it's simply mechanical bar engineer. So that is AND and OR as operators. Let's move on to NOT and some of the other operators. So the NOT operator is used to take things out that we do not want. So for example, if we were searching for mechanical engineer and we did not want the word process, we would type in NOT process. But once again, to save on those keywords, we can use the minus sign in place of NOT. And so the old method may be to type NOT electrical, and the new method is to just, just simply type minus symbol electrical or minus electrical and once again just to remind you there are no spaces used in this type of search now for some other operators they really remain the same so for example quotation marks help us to pull back exact phrases so if we want to pull back search results with mechanical engineer and we want them and we want that in an exact phrase we'll put quotation marks around it we can also use parentheses to group together OR statements, such as if I want to pull back engineer or engineering, I would simply put it in parentheses, engineer or engineering, and it would group it together in Boolean language to make sure that either engineer or engineering was in my search results. Now moving on here, one of my favorite methods to use is the wildcard in LinkedIn X-Ray in Google. And so uh, basically when I'm doing any x-ray search, I'm now using the wildcard in a lot of different methods. Some of those I'll show you in part three next week, but just to talk a little bit about the wildcard, or some people call it the asterisk. Now traditionally the wildcard would provide word stemming. So for example, if I typed the word engineer and then a wildcard beside it in a Google search, it would automatically, or it would bring back words like engineers or engineering. So it basically bring back or stem every version of that word. Well Google now automatically stems every word. So unless I do a verbatim search, if anytime I type the word engineer, it's also going to bring back engineers or engineering or any other type of similar word. So there's no need to use the wildcard anymore in that fashion. 
Now I do use the wildcard though because in Google the wildcard is best used now within quotation marks to help me find replacement keywords. So say for example my hiring manager wants me to find an electrical engineer with process engineering and design engineering experience. Well that could mean a plethora of different titles out there but I can safely assume that the word electrical will be at the beginning of my title and the word engineer will be at the end. But how do I figure out what those exact middle filler words are? Well I don't always know so that's where I'm going to use the wildcard within quotation marks. So as you can see in my two examples below, I search for open quotation marks, electrical, space, wildcard, space engineer, close quotation marks, and I might get results such as electrical design engineer or electrical process engineer, so it automatically fills in some of those results for me. Now I can also plug in two or more wildcards to also fill two or more words. So you see in my second result I put in two wildcards and I pull back results such as electrical process design engineer or electrical design process engineer. So a wildcard is one of my favorite new tools to use in a Google LinkedIn x-ray search because it really helps me find some of those filler words and I may not always know what those are, are without something like a wildcard tool. So I definitely recommend you experimenting with that. And just to close out here, just to remind you of some Boolean best practices when doing these uh, LinkedIn deep web x-ray searches. So if you watched my video last week, you learned the basic structure, and now we're starting to getting into a little bit more of the finer print or finer details, and it starts with Boolean. So my number one rule is this. If you follow the Boolean rules, the search will work. Follow the basic Boolean rules, and you can get really creative with your searches. You wouldn't believe some of the most advanced recruiters that come to me with their search strings and they're not following the basic rules of Boolean. Now I'm going to be doing a Boolean basics course down the road at some point to help people kind of have a refresher training out there. But for now, just remember if you follow the rules of Booleans, your, of a Boolean, your search will work. And the second best practice I have for you is just to make sure that you experiment. You know, I've discovered some of my best LinkedIn x-ray searches through experimenting with Boolean language in both Google and Bing. And you really only do get better at sourcing and research with practice. So let's go ahead and dive into an actual Google search string here, and we'll practice some of these Boolean modifiers that we just talked about. Here we go. All right, so here we are back again for the live example portion. I'm going to start out similar to what I did last week. I'm going to open it up with the site colon command linkedin.com and this is going to make sure all of our results in the proper x-ray format are from the LinkedIn domain which they are so site colon is our x-ray command just as a refresher with no spaces go right into the URL linkedin.com I'm going to space it out and let's say for example that my hiring manager wants to hire an electrical engineer um, but he's open to electrical process engineers or design engineers but he wants them in Chicago and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a quotation marks and type in location. And then I'm going to do a wild card um, for Chicago. And this what it does is open it up to the greater Chicago area or things like that. And that the greater word greater would be filled in there. Now what I can also do is open up a parentheses around this, include a bar, and I'm going to do uh, location. I'm also going to do an OR statement for location Chicago as one phrase because LinkedIn kind of categorizes by location, the keyword location, and then the actual place. So it's going to pull back profiles that have Chicago, Illinois, or greater Chicago area, which is what I want. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit space to do an AND. And I'm going to open up another parentheses, and this is what I'm talking about. I'm following all my Boolean rules, and so I should therefore get great results this way. And your results are always an indicator of how good you're following Boolean. If your results are all convoluted, that means that you need to go back and revisit the basics of your string. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up here to Electrical Engineer, which is a possible title. And then I'm going to do a bar for an OR statement. I'm going to do Electrical wildcard engineer and I'll go ahead and close the quotation marks and close my parentheses 
Now I'm going to minus out everything I don't want. And so LinkedIn, as I mentioned last week, has all these convoluted URLs. I'm going to minus out uh, all the URLs just by using my minus sign, which stands for not. Uh, minus in URL colon. Now I can open up a parentheses and do dir bar directory bar jobs bar jobs to bar title bar um, company bar groups and this minus is out everything that I don't want in my search string and now I should have a very good structured uh, search string I have my x-ray command at the front my keywords in the center as I discussed last week and then the things I do not want at the end and I'm gonna go ahead and hit search alright so as you can see here I'm pulling uh, profiles that are all in the Chicago area which is exactly what I want some in Chicago Illinois some in the greater Chicago area they all have the keywords electrical engineer and now you can see the wild card at, at work here electrical design engineer so it's really really cool how that's working electrical process engineer and so what this does is it gives me a fantastic amount of results still within a targeted area and I've used boolean to my max capacity here to get the best results possible when x-raying LinkedIn I'm interested to see how you x-ray LinkedIn and how you get creative with your keywords in preparation for next week's session on how to get really creative with your keywords and that's in part three be sure to join us for that make sure you like and favorite this video and share it and then click on the links in the description below to follow the Novo group in all areas of social media once again this has been Tony Steeman research consultant with the Novo group hope you have a fantastic day